whether a word of knowledge comes from me or not one thing i know is i'm not walking out of here the same way i came listen it's going to be a very quick one and as i pray for do you know why many people don't get healed it's not because the power of god is not in you know in a place where god is moving is that most of them don't know how to engage as the power of god rests upon you do what you couldn't do before and begin to celebrate when it's time to announce miracles don't sit back there don't say i am far there no as the fire of god comes upon you sometimes i ask the ushers to bring the people out it's not showmanship there are levels when god has lifted you every point to be proven has been proven you see when we ask people to come out here who are under the influence of the anointing it is because there is a completion to that process of deliverance that god makes sometimes i wish we had all the time to prophesy one by one if i mention a case that is your own don't waste the time of others and just stroll and come out as if you are taking your time if you are not sure sit down don't allow someone go back without their miracle because you are careless are you ready now father i am ready to receive pray violently and passionately go ahead and pray outside pray all the overflows pray online make sure you pray hallelujah everybody pray sing that stanza once for me and then ya carry beautiful stanza go ahead dave sing for me everyone pray come on pray tonight is your night oppression an end to delay I carry so I'm no longer a slave now hell has no claim my debt has been paid by the lamb I'm no longer hell has no claim my debt has been paid I'm are you praying? Now please listen to me listen to me i'm receiving an instruction in my spirit and i want you to just cooperate with me we're going to shout the word hallelujah which is the word halal yeshua it means praise the lord the name lord is the word adon it means the ruler the owner the absolute manipulator of systems and structures and spirits and men they all belong to him so when you say hallelujah what you are saying is halal yeshua praise adon are we together praise adonai the king of kings the lord of lords we're going to shout this seven times just obey instructions at the seventh shout 
many things will begin to happen there will be a massive deliverance and please help me now as much as we have many ushers but they are very limited we need to walk very fast if someone is under the anointing close to you whether or not you are an usher if i demand that you bring them out please do help us you can bring them out even if you are not an usher you'll be given the liberty just to come and drop them to help the ushers there's only so much they can do are we together now why do we do this because in this prophetic act is the liberty of many people let me tell you how spirits work i have taught you here spirits work like an octopus you know how an octopus is with many tentacles many expressions it can touch various aspects of your life and you will think there are many spirits It's the same network of spirits is the reason why when those spirits are casted out of your life or your domain in one moment you will see several things returning back to order hallelujah so we're going to pray don't worry guys okay you can shift whatever you have to shift and then we'll just work with what is available weather is very hot already the angels of god are in this place it's not just the holy spirit the excelling strength every row every place waiting for that stirring of the water are you ready seven hallelujah by the spirit of god i will give you the counting and you will shout at the seventh time i want you to shout with all your heart and that fire will fall opening doors breaking chains bringing restoration blotting out handwritings in experience are you ready father we honor you tonight this is a miracle service proceed by your word and bring liberty to your people to the glory of the name of your son are you ready number one number two number three my god number four number five get ready now number six finally i release the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus let every darkness bring them out let every chain let every spirit that has tied down man tied down destinies release them now release them now release them now by the fire of the holy spirit every demonic occurrence around your life in the name of jesus be delivered bring them out very quickly in the name that is above all names spirits of inheritance curses and yokes spirits of ancestry by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now sing that song for me again in the name of jesus bring them out Your life is turning around for good. Hey. By grace through faith, I carry away. No longer, no longer a slave. Now hell has no claim. My debt has been paid by the I am seated with Christ. Hey. Yes, I'm justified. He paid the price. And he said, Yakare. 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 while still praying I want to pray 
for you right now. I'm hearing the sound of chains. I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing the sound of chains. And I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay. Tying people down and will not let you go forward. I pray for you right now. Let that fire fall upon every individual and every family. My God, every chain that has kept you in the same position. Right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three. Let that chain be broken. One, two, three. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Let that chain be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, all kinds of chains, anti-destiny spells, be broken now. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. You have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep with you in the night. They use the faces of individuals, male or female, it does not matter. When good things are about to happen, listen to me, then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens. By the next day, the opportunity is just aborted. I pray for you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit, anyone under the sound of my voice, and you are a victim of this demonic molestation, at the count of three, be released right now. One, two, three. Be released right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Mysterious dreams. Seeing yourself writing exams without passing. Seeing yourself in secondary schools, homes and places that you left years ago. I tell you they have prophetic implications. By the God of heaven, everything that connects you with yesterday, the curse of yesterday, the tragedy by God, fire is falling. I decree right now, be delivered now. 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 Deborah. Who is Deborah? I'm hearing a name in my spirit. Deborah. Your time has come. You don't have to crowd. Don't worry. You just stand where you are. Deborah. This is what I'm hearing. The Lord is visiting a Deborah. Captivity is coming to an end. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands by the prophetic and the apostolic over Deborah. The plague of witchcraft be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Over Deborah. Be broken now. Be broken now. I set every altar speaking against Deborah on fire. On fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. Let that altar catch fire now. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the cost that is upon firstborns. Rebuke the cost that is upon my God. Fire is going to fall here now. If you are a firstborn, every cost. Baratos Kayata, not allowing you to move forward, making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Every cause of the firstborn, first male, first female, first child, tying your destiny down and will not let you move forward. This is koinonia. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is affecting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry, shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. 
every idol, every altar, every enchantment. You come under fire now. You come under arrest now. The cause of idolatry, I'm still praying, the cause of idolatry, you may not have known, they worship idols, they kill children to service those altars, and before those who died, died, they uttered curses, and said it would not be well with your children, I come by the prophetic, anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, consequences of idolatry, right now, be delivered right now, be delivered right now. Be delivered by mercy. Be delivered by grace. Be delivered by mercy. There is a gentleman here. Please listen. If it's not for you, don't waste our time. Just sit back. But there is a gentleman here. You are supposed to be the direct person continuing the idolatry where you come from. And you have rejected it. And this thing, you keep seeing these things in your dreams. Where is that person? I want that person to come. I presume there might be a number of them. Directly, you know, not assumption. You are supposed to be the one to take over the helm of affairs. As far as priesthood is concerned. Please, if that gentleman is around, whether inside or outside, I want him to come out. I want to pray for you. There is a family that I'm seeing here. I may not ask you to come out for space, but you are from Benway State. There is a mysterious altar God wants to pull down now. This thing has affected everybody in that family. Benway State. This is what God is ministering to me. Father, by the Spirit of God, you didn't come alone, no. It was a family. Nobody progresses in that family. No matter what happens. Educated but suffering as if you are uneducated. It's a yoke of darkness. That course is about to break now. Do you have that gentleman? You are supposed to continue. Did you verify it? Where are you from, sir? Huh? Iju Akure. You are from? Iju Akure. Where is that? Ondo State. Ondo State, Akure. You were supposed to carry on with the priesthood. My father was, he rejected Just a it. moment, let me hear. Yes, go my, ahead. My father was, he rejected it. And of Your father rejected it. So automatically and then it came to you. But I didn't take it either. You rejected it too. And it seems to have backfired. You will be delivered now, sir. Amen. How about this gentleman? Please, very quickly. I was told that I was supposed to carry on the family lineage. You're an international guest? Yes, Coming yes, sir. from? From Belgium, sir. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was told I was supposed to carry on in the family lineage. My father originally comes from Ijebode, and I was supposed to carry He comes on. from Ijebode? Yes, sir. I see. Yes, sir. And I was supposed to carry on that family tradition. You see, ba, this thing will follow you to America, for wherever it doesn't... A plane does not take away demons. No. That you entered a plane to a foreign land. If you don't settle this by light and by power, that thing will follow you to the ends of the earth. There are many people with all due respect. In America, have you seen people who spend decades abroad and return back like they just came out of prison? Don't feel embarrassed, my dear friend. I'm going to pray for you. Who else? Why are you lifting your hands? From where? From where? Oh, my Benway people. Hold on, hold on. Be organized now. Remember I gave you a... Just calm down. You are here for a miracle service. Are you a family? No, you are not a family. Let me hear that woman who is crying. Give her the mic. Madam, no crying, straight to the point. Just, okay, go ahead. I'm seeing her with children. Give her the mic. It's two, two years. I bury my Sydney every two, two years. See, even this one has challenges. This my son, every two, two every years. Every two, two years, you bury your Sydney. Every two, siblings. two years. Well, Don't I'm worry, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm praying against patterns. There are people who have those patterns, so every predefined time something must happen either someone dies or someone goes down or women return back to their parents homes or men return back anything that is a pattern let me even pray it already 
in the name that is above all names i say it by the spirit of god receive it to every parasco parita barantasiata every pattern repetitive negative cycles hear me in the name of jesus i call upon the god of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life let that pattern be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now as you shout amen let it be broken now Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh. Ta da 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 da. patterns i've seen it all i've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with phd the son begged with phd there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they are not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god of heaven let let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance help this woman let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life did you hear what i said hallelujah there are people who never eat from their children please listen i'm speaking to you prophetically now they give birth to children but even at 45 30 35 55 Even at all those ages, listen to me, the children will have to eat from the parents. Have you seen people like that? Yes. Parents are retired, but from their gratuity. That's what they will carry to feed the man who has his wife and has the children. When I'm praying for patterns, if it does not concern you, no problem. You can keep your hands when I'm praying about what concerns you. But please, don't lose out this opportunity. For some of you, God has been showing you mercy. Again, I'm praying. Everything that is not written in this scripture, that is happening in your life and stopping your life from being an expression of God's grace, in the name of Jesus, we bury it this night. We bury it this night. We bury it this night. For sake of time, we can't have everybody come, but the families from Benway State, just lift your hands. I don't care what the altar is called and I don't care how long it has stayed my God fire will fall on you as I'm praying for you now physically may something be happening in your village as I pray and anyone I remember I think it was was it that we're still in Zaria listen was it that we're still in Zaria or we had moved to Abuja one miracle service i was praying i remember and i i think god brought a word of knowledge particularly concerning benway now i have no prejudice for any state mine is to minister as the spirit of god leads but i remember seeing a tree and something tied on that tree one miracle service and i had a name called aleku aleku something aleku or aleku something like that and that is a vicious altar some kind of spirit that can make people's legs to swell till they die or make something happen to people. I pray for you, whether that concerns you or not, in the name of Jesus. I'm using Benway as a point of contact for every other place. If there is any altar tagging you and not allowing you move, I'm coming to pray for business people shortly. But right now, I break those covenants.
prince. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to trust what God is doing here. You will be surprised at what happens to you. Please don't feel bad, but God is giving me this word for a particular woman. About a month ago, your daughter died. I don't know if she's been buried or not, but God is saying I should pray for that one person. Your daughter, not your child. Your daughter died. You are the mother. You came here. I don't know whether you are old or young, but your daughter died. This was over a span of a month ago. If that person is here or outside, please let me have the person out. I will pray for you. But whilst we are waiting for that person, I want to minister Imo State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing Imo State. Imo State. The spirit that makes only one person to rise, then the rest beg from that one person. This is what the Lord is telling me. Did you hear what I said? Only one person rises and the other people, they only live by begging that one person. It is not the way God helps believers. God's desire, yes, somebody can start, but eventually that people have their own standing too. Therefore, every spirit responsible for that satanic effect in emo state right now, be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Hallelujah. I want to pray for someone. Your uncle is a policeman. Your uncle, not your father, not your brother. Your uncle is a policeman. I want to pray because I'm seeing them go uh, an operation over terrorists and I'm not seeing the person return. And the Lord is saying I should pray. Don't be afraid. When God reveals is to redeem. Your uncle is a policeman. Who is that person? Where is he? Huh? Hold on, just who, who is that person first? You're an international guest? Yes. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from USC, St. Texas. Okay. Your uncle is a policeman. Yes. Not sir. your brother. No, my brother. What my of, uncle. What of this one? Why are you here, my, my dear? My uncle is a policeman, sir. Huh? My uncle is a policeman. Where? The uh, Kaduna, sir. Kaduna? Yes, sir. The lady? Kefi. Hold on, hold on. Yes, this lady. Kefi. Uh -uh. Kefi. Kefi. Yes, sir. Who? That one? My uncle. Where? Here, in Abuja. In Abuja? Yes, sir. Whose uncle is a policeman in the South South? South South. South South. South South. Where? In Benin. Benin. In those states. Where? Huh? Plateau is not South South. Plateau is Middle Belt. Where? Huh? Come again. Onicha. Where? Port Harcourt, yes. Benin. Uh, this death I'm seeing is happening in the South South. They are going to go and raid something, and I'm seeing them part of those that were, are gruesomely killed. Don't feel bad. This now I'm not a prophet of doom. Cross River is already dead. No problem. Feel sad. May so rest in peace. I'm talking of the one that is alive right now. Don't be afraid. I want to pray for you, madam, and all of you. South South. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing this south-south. It's an operation that they went for. Maybe to, you know, their normal duty as police people, but I'm not seeing him return. And the way that they kill that man is a bad way. It's not like maybe it's just a gunshot. It's like these guys, I'm seeing a, a very cruel death. But I pray for you. You came here tonight. He says, as for me and my house, in the name of Jesus, everyone here, and I'm praying for police officers across this nation. In the name of Jesus, you will go for your operations and return back. You will go for your operations and return back. In the name of Jesus, every programming of death, using the official duties of your loved ones, that they will go for operations and yet not return. Whether it's your father, your uncle, your loved one, in the name of Jesus, I send a prophetic word ahead of them. Let it protect them till they return. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you and you, sir. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Every altar that will not let you rest. Do you know, listen to me. Even salvation, you have a right to reject it. Talk less altars. Are we together? As, as, a, as a human being, 
you can choose to say Jesus I've heard your message but I reject you and God will respect your choice he will prevail upon you he will encourage people to push you to the cross but he will not force you no altar has a right to force anyone to say you must carry it it's a lie it's against the way the realm of the spirit works even God Jesus Christ said behold I stand at the door and knock the door of the heart of his creation no herbalist and no demonic thing should come and say if you don't carry the priesthood you will fail I'm telling you now from the authority of scripture it's a lie I pray for you sir I pray for you my friend and all of you who have been victims of this thing for no matter how long this has been and the negative consequences that have followed you I stretch my hands towards you be set free this moment be set free this moment all the visions and the dreams you have of oppressions they come to an end now the Lord is healing people of blood diseases blood diseases this is what I'm hearing blood diseases all of you in front here I decree and declare your liberty is confirmed your liberty is established there is a lady you came here with the issue of blood just like our sister who was sharing a testimony here in fact it was as if she was describing you as I'm speaking right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you that demonic oppressive flow of blood sometimes you feel dizzy because of how much blood you have lost this is what I'm seeing in my vision in the name that is above all names may the Lord bring you healing permanently Amen. healing permanently Amen. lay your hands on your body right now you are trusting God for a miracle a healing miracle go ahead place your hand and I want you to believe place your hand and I want you to believe koinonia is a place of healing place your hand and I want you to believe 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 Jesus still heals my God Jesus still delivers now here's what will happen as I speak some of you whilst you came here the healing power of the of God had rested upon you as I pray for you right now I want you remember the instruction I gave you while I was teaching I want you to check yourself and don't sit back when you see that the anointing of the spirit has touched you whether you are outside whether you are inside some of you came on wheelchairs some of you came holding crutches some of you hearing aids some of you came with various parts of your body unable to move mobility issues some of you came you look healthy but there are all kinds of growths and satanic manifestations in your body some of you organ failures some of you various parts of your body your eyes your ears some of you need creative miracles because as it stands you have damaged organs in your body and what a joy to know that our miracle services are being aired across hospitals clinics wards it is such an honor to be able to bring the power of Jesus to hospitals and by the way let me take a moment to thank the CMDs or the various heads of the units or the hospitals who air our miracle services it's an honor for us to be able to bring the healing power of Jesus to as many who we may never see and may never know place your hand um, I'm going to pray for you now but there are two people one two who will shout under the anointing the moment they shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody the healing power of Jesus begins to flow sometimes like i've told you i don't know why god does these things the way he does but i believe that he does that probably to build the faith of the people and then to let you know that the god who can program something this accurate how do you make mention of two people and say people are going to shout under the anointing you see how in the world do you explain that so i want to pray for you now you lay your hands and play something pray the strings for me and then we begin to pray I want you to believe you don't have to go back with that sickness you're on crutches you cannot walk get ready now as I pray for you don't be afraid lift it up and then you begin to walk you have an earring aid you remove it and test yourself you came with someone I want you to believe as you receive thank you Jesus father thank you I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus 
who is the son of the living God every devil every demonic spirit that is back of any infirmity blood related bone related organ failure related mobility problem related it doesn't matter what form or fashion every contribution of any unclean spirit to your current health condition your current health status in the name of jesus we dislodge that influence from your body now we stay the power of that spirit from your body now shout a believing amen i decree right now he commanded us to heal the sick and i stretch my hands in the name of jesus the one who died and rose again be healed now my god i just sense fire literally leaving my hands be healed now be healed now high blood pressure be healed now hiv be healed now bone problems be healed now you could not walk lift your crutches and begin to walk now bone problems be healed now ear problems be healed now liver problems be healed now lumps growths and every kind of protrusions around your body i command it to die now there's someone you have a swelling somewhere inside your mouth i don't know where that is but in the name of jesus the lord is healing you now supernaturally the lord is telling me that there's someone you have a growth around your private area this thing you've tried to treat it and treat it and treat it it's been excruciating pain and embarrassment but i stretch my hands the lord is healing you now you were using a cotton board like an ear board and it moved inside from that time you've had pain and discomfort in your ear your right ear the power of god is touching you now in the name of jesus the left side of your nostril has a problem there is a very discomforting feeling you've had this for years it's lingered for years the left side of your nostril the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ there is a lady here you are not pregnant but you've been having the symptoms of a pregnant woman your stomach has not protruded but when you read about the things that happen to a pregnant woman especially across the first trimester these are the things happening to you it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you now be delivered from that negative experience your right eye you're not able to see very well with it there's a burning sensation be healed now there's someone i don't know if he's pile but you cannot sit down comfortably on a chair for a long time you begin to feel severe pain and discomfort the power of god is touching you now there's someone you were told in the hospital i don't know what organ maybe your heart or so that it is surrounded by fats and you will need maybe some medical attention else is going to hurt you i pray for that person right now in jesus name let mercy find you let mercy find you i once prayed for this case and the lord is showing me again you have a severe case of snoring whether you lie down or sit down the moment you are asleep you snore so loud that people around you hear it's been very embarrassing it has nothing to do with being good or bad it's, it's something that if there is a medical name i believe for it but god wants to heal that person in the name of jesus whatever it is that is around your respiratory system responsible for that discomfort and that anomaly be healed from it now be healed from it now the lord is asking me to speak over a woman you are married you've never been able to get pregnant it's not that you lost the pregnancy it has never happened 
never you've not been able to get pregnant in the name of jesus wherever you are inside or any of the overflows outside or connected online by reason of this prayer let the power of the holy spirit rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now the someone i need to pray for you you are losing your teeth you've lost a number of them a significant number of them and if i don't pray for you you are told in the hospital that you have a condition that is literally spreading and you you stand a chance of losing your entire teeth in jesus name wherever you are following or here on site be healed by the power of the holy spirit if you came with a picture or point of contact for any sick person lift it up and pray now in the name that is above all names for your loved ones represented the photos the materials the medical reports that are lifted your phones i see their pictures in the name of jesus christ i bring the healing power of jesus to such persons shout a believing amen shout a believing amen again the lord is showing me someone when you go to bed you have a choking feeling it's as if there is a spirit that literally comes to choke your neck you have to struggle to wake up a similar thing happened to me for a, a great part of my life so i understand exactly spirits used to come and oppress me even when i started ministry i used to have that at the infancy of ministry you see that i mean you, you are sleeping and you know you are hearing people conversations but to wake up it looks like you are struggling i'm praying for someone now anyone who has had or is having that experience i set you free by the power of the holy spirit i set you free by the power of the holy spirit the lord is healing someone from stammering 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 be healed now there's a gentleman you are not able to bend over backwards you are a young man but it looks based on what is happening in your body it's almost as if you're in your 60s you are unable to freely bend over backwards and bend downwards in jesus name the power of god is touching you now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god receive your healing now outside receive your healing all the overflows receive your healing online receive your healing across the airwaves receive your healing in the main auditorium here receive your healing in the name of jesus christ now everybody while you are standing i want you to begin to pray and declare that what you have received is finding expression in your life hold on and then for all those i want you to check yourself you find out that there's a miracle that has happened to you leave your seat in a hurry and come and stand here very quickly we're going to have a few people so please if you come late you might not have a chance to testify very quickly check yourself you see that there's a miracle do what you could not do if you came with someone help them release their faith as soon as a miracle happens please make your way very quickly to the front we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be praying over the request but go ahead and pray everyone decree and declare that this that i have received these that i've received let's celebrate miracles while we pray those coming from outside please protocol direct them so that they come quickly and then if you're coming from any of the overflows please let the ushers or protocol know that you are coming to testify and then they make room for you there are many who are coming give jesus praise while you pray 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 over yourself gentlemen you sing that song once for me again from start till yakare and then we are ready to take a few testimonies check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while we are taking the testimonies how many of you are, you are ready with your prayer requests by the way how many of you believe that god answers prayers amen do you believe that right so very quickly whilst we're here please if you are yet to submit your prayer request here's what you do just pass it to anyone by the left or the right extremes of your aisle and then ushers will just come to pick it don't worry it's your request nobody's reading it this is between you and god but just to facilitate it especially for all the overflows those online there should be a link for you to send in your request we'll do that very fast while we're taking the testimonies and i want you to celebrate every testimony no matter how big or small they all came by the power of god are we together now 
So I want you to celebrate very generously as God is moving through his people. And we'll make this really, really very fast. The more you thank God for his hand in the midst of his people, this is one thing I learned from Kenneth E. Hagen, from T.L. Osborne, and most of the people who were mightily used by God, especially in the area of healing. Right from the times when God began to do supposedly little things, little healings, I would celebrate every manifestation of his hand very generously and sincerely with a heart of gratitude. So this is one of the ways that you scale in the operation of the healing anointing, to be grateful for everything that he does. Ready, guys? Okay, so let's take, let's take the testimonies. Yes, sir. Very quickly, your name right. and straight to the point. I'm Antonia Antoni. So I came here with pains from my armpit to... You came here with pains? Yeah, from my armpit How long has that been? For two weeks now. Okay. So when you said two people will be under the anointing... Yes. I was under the anointing and when I got up... Like Completely. Lift your hands. Down. Yeah. Lift it again. Nothing. Gone forever. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person, please. Good evening, sir. My name is Daniel. I came with Pastor Larry. I always found myself as public speaking because I'm a stammering person. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. You were a stammerer? Sir, he was healed from stammering. Really? Yes. I, I always found myself. Hallelujah. How long has this been? It has been a long time. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. So I always found it difficult. But now, I could speak very well. Hallelujah. <laughs> My God. Most of you don't know. This was Moses' problem. Oh. Moses complained about this thing before God. Stammering. It limits you. You want to express yourself, but you are incapacitated. This is a miracle, my God. I pray for you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how every other thing in your life will flow seamlessly. Amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person. Yes, sir. Good evening, Kononia. My name is Kletus. I was having growth on my throat. I was feeling... Uh, growth? Yes, he had a growth. So okay. he had problems swallowing. Wow. So I find it difficult to swallow. But when you mention the case concerning growth, now I can swallow my spit. You can swallow yes, freely in Jesus' name. Healed and perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. One more person and then we'll move to the other side. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Timson Johnson. I used to have a pen inside my mouth but immediately after how long has that been it has been for like one week yes after the prayer immediately it's gone it's gone completely yeah. it never returns to you again yeah. in the name of jesus yes go ahead apostle you gave a word of knowledge of those with eye defects now yes. she went to the hospital last year and she was diagnosed of suspected glycoma and dry eye syndrome so she couldn't see in fact, when she came, she see how that's difficulty. But yes. now, she can see the screen. She can see you. You can see me? Yes, sir. Clearly? Yes, sir. How long has this been? Um, the diagnosis was in November. Yes. But recently, it became worse. I had to buy some supplements last week. Mm. As I came this evening, I was outside. And I couldn't see the screen very well. And now? My right, but now I could see well. Then, can you count how many fingers? Yes, four. One. Three. No, no. Okay, this is making a mistake. Two, five. Give Jesus praise. Then I Amen. also had, I also had, I also had a pain in my abdomen here. I also went for scan last year. They didn't see anything, but I've been having this sharp pain, so unco yes. unco uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So as you were praying, I just felt this sharp pain just left me outside. Of Everything outside. that is not planted by God, that is how it will live your life forever. Amen. May God bless you, my dear. Never return to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. You gave a word of knowledge of a woman feeling, having a sign of pregnancy. Now, she has had that for the past three years. But when you make mention of that, the power three of God years. came on. Yes, over three years. I've been always feeling as if I'm pregnant. Sometimes my stomach will even come up. My friend will be touching me, are you pregnant? I'll say no. My but God. when you said the word... I don't know how I was feeling. Even when I was coming, I was somehow feeling. Even my abdomen was burning me, but I can't feel it anymore. Place your hand there. I can't feel In Jesus' it. name, healed forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. God bless you. Next person. Apostle, this is a footballer. He was hit 
on the pitch and so we had difficulty in walking oh, and dear. squatting but when you minister the power of god came on it and now footballer. Can squat. Yes, sir. where so i it was on my left leg i was trying to guide the ball so he hit me i felt my groin my left ankle yes that at any time what were you not able to do so i could not twist it i couldn't even climb the staircase today i run. was complaining run like a footballer Squat. Look at this. Amen. Where do you play? So for now, I'm just playing on home base team. You really want to move forward in your profession? Yes, Is sir. that what you want to do? Yes, sir. There is a king maker anointing. You see, listen, listen. King makers never become kings themselves, but they enthrone and dethrone kings. I pray for you, my friend, if you believe in the name of Jesus, the grace that lifts men from nothing and announces them to their generation. May that grace, even as touching your sports, may that grace rest upon you now. Go and excel. May God bring strategic destiny helpers that will take you out of this country and announce you to your world in Jesus name. God bless you. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next please, very quickly. Apostle, another case of a sign of pregnancy since last year. A sign of pregnancy. My name is Jacqueline. I'm from Tanzania. You're from Tanzania? Yes. Okay. So since last year, September, I've been having like signs of pregnancy. And every time I go, to, I'm not married, but every time I go to the hospital, they'll tell me like it's nothing. But I feel pregnant. Like, the, I feel, you know, yes. yes, I feel like pregnant. So you mentioned that, that case today. But another thing, when I came here, I was okay. When you told us to shout like hallelujah, the seventh one, like I fell, and, and when they brought me here, I started having a very strong headache. So we have at our home a pattern of migraine, a very strong migraine for years. Mm. And for me, it will always come at the point whenever I'm fasting. I'll get serious migraines until I, I'm taken to the hospital. Yes. So after falling down there, it started like paining me so hard. But when I stood and I go back to my seat, you told us that uh, if just hold the place where I sick, then I held my head. And I told God, because I didn't believe that, okay, can it really happen now? So I was like, I told God, if you do it for me really now, I'm going to testify. I told God because I didn't believe that okay right can now. happen now. But right now, as I say, I'm not feeling pain at all. Nothing. Completely. Completely. Jesus still heals now. God bless you, my dear. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take one more there. Our mommy here couldn't twist her hand for a very long time. Let's one. Yes, Let's go ahead. Let me do finger. It has been a pain for the past uh, three weeks, close to a month. Yes. I've not been able to bend it like this. But when you said we should keep doing whatever, when you were praying, yes. I kept doing my hand like this. I didn't feel the pain. Now I can bend it very well. Because I can even take it back. And it's a great relief to me. In I've used so many ointment, but it's still not working. But I thank God. Perfection for you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hold on. Before we take this, listen. I want you to know that miracles are real. They really happen. You will be amazed to know how many people who are in church who sit in the presence of real miracles, but they are still yet to be sure. Miracles are real. Not everybody is faking this thing. There are real miracles that happen by the hand of God. Are we together? My dream is that sooner or later, miracle services will no longer be for koinonia members. It will be an act of evangelism that for many people who are of this fold, when you come, there will really be nothing to heal and nothing to pray for because you would have so mastered the keys of the kingdom. What you do, it will just be an opportunity for growth and increase while bringing many others to receive. That's how it ought to be. Are we together now? Yes, go ahead, my friend. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, you gave a profound word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding someone that actually stuck a cutting board in his ears right one it was you yes sir okay when you mentioned my case that the person that is using cutting boot this early january then it started bringing blood 
So me and my friend, I say, ah, he says, sorry. I say, by God's grace, my papa will heal me. And you mentioned the person that he go to hospital feeling that something that it will affect his chest or all this thing. You say perfection is healing is coming. Yes. How yes. do you feel now? I'm healed. I'm okay. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. He brings you life even by his spirit. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Hallelujah. I came here with a, a pile problem that happened two weeks ago. I complained this to my friend. And my friend says to me that, how long have you been? Just came to me for a three days. For a three days that it just came at once. And I started feeling the pain. When I go to the restroom, I cannot, I cannot uh, uh, excrete very well. Then I would, it's not the one that used to come out, but it's uh, that one that it pains me. It pains me. Yes. But and what happened to you I now? I kept on praying. When I came, so, sir, he actually came with the pain. After you prayed, he went to check himself. And, he's and you're fine he completely. Fine. Both of you? My yes. Own, my own is fine. So as I go inside the bedroom, I check everything was gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's listen to Mama's testimony. Someone help her. Have you checked her? Let's hear her. Okay. All right, Mama, go ahead. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, Daddy, Mama said that she could not see properly with her two eyes and that she always needed aid to move around. When you prayed about the right eye, the left eye opened. So she walked by herself without aid from the back to the front. So she said she was going to give the testimony, although you said the right eye, the left eye opened, that she was able to come here yes, by, by herself, herself unaided. God. Who came with her? She came alone? I, I came what? with my daughter. She added me to church. To church? Uh, no, that's fine. That's all right for sake of time. Okay, so what happened to her now, Mama? What has happened to you? Very quickly, my God. The, I, the left one has opened. Two of them was involved. They were Two of involved. them were blind before? Yes. One is open now. Uh, open a letter that made me to walk from here. No, don't worry, Mama. Listen. To here. Sir? That's your mom, That's my dear? Right. Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. How has it been for her before now? Very quickly. She even had a surgery last year yes but since then she has not been seeing well even yes. when we came i was holding her but after the prayers she was able to walk from that place to this place my god in the name of jesus christ please help me place your hand on her eyes i declare perfection that god who began this you see how powerful this thing is you see that one miracle has begun in her life it's not been perfected yet but when you give God thanks for something that has started, are you seeing that now? Yes, this is called the walking of miracles. In Jesus' name, Mama, we pray that God will perfect you completely. The God that opened the left eye, may he open the right eye and perfect you completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. We have, okay. Apostle, when we did vaccination, she tested hepatitis B, positive but okay. as you were ministering then she went back to the medical stand and this is the doctor they conducted the test twice and she's negative negative for hepatitis i'm negative you are praying for for swelling around the tooth then a sharp pain came out from my back i, I bent down, i shouted then i checked the swell it was not there it's gone then i now run to the medical stand mm. that's when they checked this hepatitis b twice and it was gone completely yes let me hear from the doctor good evening daddy so she came to the stand that she wants to run hepatitis test so i did the first one it was negative so i wasn't sure i had to call my colleague that come and check what i see he told me the result so to confirm again how to do the test second time and to god be the glory it came out negative as amen well. In the name of Jesus, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, God bless you. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of pain in the air as a result of cutting board. She has the challenge, and when you minister, the pain is gone. Gone she forever. Can hear clearly now. Yes, right. When you mentioned the case of um, cutting board in the right ear, it happened to me last year, and since then, I when it happened, I poured oil and then I 
tried to turn my head the other side to think to see if it would come out. It didn't come out. And since then, anytime I blink, I feel the movement, but I've not known how to how to bring it out. When you mentioned it, the the the, the movement, it kind of it was up and down. It is, but when you you when, used to feel it yes, that there's something inside your ear. Yes, every time I blink my eye. When you mentioned it, I was still thinking, contemplation, should I come out yes. or not? Because it was still moving. But then I remembered what you said. That once you mention our case, we should just come out with faith. And since I've been, been on the queue, I've not felt anything again. In Jesus' name, you will never, never feel that demonic thing again. It dematerializes and leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Let's take a few with Pastor Jakes. Yes, sir. Good evening, Koenonia. My name is Banu Adam Rema. Uh, I came here with neck pain. But neck pain? Yes, exactly. Okay. And now? Uh, and now I'm not feeling Move it left and right. Any pain? Yes. Completely gone. You are perfected forever yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, next person. Good evening. I was having pain this afternoon when I came to church. Even while I, while I was dancing, I tried to even... This... This bottom here i was having the pain so i even danced i was dancing the pain was still there but i keep dancing after the prayer the pain has gone gone completely yes sir same thing happened i had pains all over my abdominal region i was fatigued tired i was just trying to cope but when daddy mentioned people with pains i took it upon myself to That's say right. amen i shake my body and i feel and it's gone forever always. in the name of jesus christ I declare perfection for you both, supernatural perfection. That pain dies, it leaves your body forever in Jesus' name. God bless you. Very quickly. All right, sir. Uh, let's Similar see if we can case. take two or three more. Praise, mm. God. Praise God. Okay, I came from Benin because I was having a lot of health challenges, especially with my feet. A strong feet. anointing is going to come on two people. One of them will start running. Please hold the person right now very strong anointing is going to come on one person and that that is a very dramatic empowerment it's a very unique grace that will speak in the person's place of work this is what i'm saying one of them will start running hold the person so they don't injure themselves hold that lady she's an usher she's an usher herself that lady is an usher so let her receive before she gets back to do her work she's an usher you see that ushers too can receive just because you are walking the holy spirit does not care if your heart is open you can receive she's an usher please help her once she receives her own she can go back and do her work what a good way to serve that you are serving and you are receiving yourself hallelujah there is still one more person please don't, don't mind me let me do my thing i know when god is done there is still one more person in the congregation not balcony not around one person in the congregation so god does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people you see it is god who knows the troubles the things that plague god's people the answer to our problem is always the anointing coming through the word coming through prophetic ministrations there's one more person and then we get back to finalizing the testimony mm. mighty god you deserve the praise worthy is your name help me You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door. That from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you, April is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies april is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies 
I prophesy this to you if you believe it. Receive it and let it find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. People who never heard about your business. There are angels that will noise your product. Noise your services abroad. And you will receive mysterious calls. Calls that will lead to your rising. Calls that will restore you financially. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. So I came from Benin yesterday. Uh huh. Because I'm having a lot of health challenges. Health challenges. Especially with my feet. My feet. I can't stand for more than three minutes and I can't sleep at night. So I came to church by eight today because I really wanted a change. While you were ministering, I was not able to stand. I was sitting down on my seat. And then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before. My leg that was paining me because of diabetes. You had diabetes? My God, look at this. Your leg is not paining me again and I can stand. Which of them, my dear? Both of them. Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. Both of them. She came here from Benin. From Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. When you exhaust your options and medical science, as limited as it is, is not able to help you. That's when you will know the value of a miracle. Sometimes you see people looking very healthy, but then they are plagued with cancer, plagued with whatever. Some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations. Don't share the grace and just go back home and forget. Go to the hospital. If our medical team is not able to check you, which I doubt, Make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle. My dear, in the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. And everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this, let it be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's have three more here and three more there. Then we speak over the rest for sake of time. Go ahead. So, sir, maybe we, yes, we sir. have just... Yes, if, if there are similar cases, you can just combine them They've together. All been healed. So he had a spirit leave him. He had a spirit leave you, yes. sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Headache. You've what did you feel? I came here with a terrible headache. Headache. Um, noise. Noise. In the, in the head. Uh-huh. So the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars, I literally felt that just left you. Felt when the spirits left. Yes. And the headache is Wave totally them gone. goodbye. They go for good. Amen. They are not needed. Amen. They should go somewhere else. But as far as your destiny is concerned, you are free and free forever amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Yes, please. So, sir, we have a few testimonies online, though. Um, so, okay. all these ones, they've been healed. Knee. Knee she pain. She had a problem with her knee and she got yes. healed. Yeah, Daddy, my, my name my name's uh, Darlene Tineke Chuku. I'm having, I'm a footballer. I'm having a serious Footballer pain. again. Yes, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this miracle. And we pray not only will God heal you like he's done, but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of Jesus. I understand there are many, many miracles. Now, listen, because we're limited, there's only so much a miracle service. Those days... Uh, when the fathers held miracle services, it stretched for hours and even days. And so we try to manage within the time that we have. Um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony. Remember, you can always submit it. And for those of you who connect online, everybody here and the entire Koinonia Global Family, I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, after service, you can connect. Connect on YouTube, connect on Facebook, Instagram, and do let others know. Do let others know that this is what God is doing so that they can connect, receive updates, faith-building updates. One thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms, there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life. Our media team have been trained. Anything you find on our social media platform, 
if you find nonsense on any platform it does not belong to us it may just be scammers or people writing nonsense but anything you find on any koinonia global platform whether here or any other expressions azaria platform us canada uk or any other expression we have a creed we have a rule the only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed to know jesus and to inspire you through a great life okay so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms very quickly yes sir okay sir we just have one last one maybe if you're online before yes okay Sorry, sir. so quickly just okay my name is swatchet um while i was down when you prayed about back pain immediately i felt relief but i was still reluctant to come up my husband yes. said just go and testify so I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes i'm free bend and see check any pain gone forever yes, god bless you it never returns to you again so kenny let's have one or two online apostle apostle this is from peace my daughter's case was mentioned it's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night when she is sleeping my baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her and she is sleeping right now but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. Place. Apostle, this is a second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selman mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit, and he thought it was pile, but I knew it was an injured coccyx, well, that causes me pain when I sit. In August 2020, I missed the top step in our staircase at home, and I fell down on my bottom. And since that time, my coccyx causes me pain. When I sit in any chair at work, in the car, or in the train or a bus, I have been bouncing on our couch, couch, and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for test and scan and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the nail, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. It even falls. And it's gone now. Pain is gone. Perfected completely. forever. He Perfect. fell in the pool and then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth and sep. Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone. Completely. Amen. Now, for all of you who are left, my sincere apologies again. You can always come by next week or during the week. Register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what God has done as you allow. I declare perfection for all of you in the name of Jesus. Whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise, in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Rise up on your feet, please stretch your hands towards your request. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that truly I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found Why do we pray? Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession, meaning that you can reach someone who is not here kilometers 
nations continents apart like the centurion advocated for his son like Jarius's or the daughter Jarius's daughter you see that now make sure you understand why we pray it's not a ritual if you reduce it to a ritual it has no power to deliver again believing that let me request that you stretch your hands online on site outside all the overflows i will bow my knees to god as a sign of uh, um humility and in a posture of intercession and in one minute i'd like you to speak to the lord before i make declarations father visit me go ahead participate in your miracle i like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith when we prophesy we see in part and we're limited um by time when we minister to people there's only so much we can minister we can do but when people submit their requests um you've taken your time to write these things and the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that you receive us them and you shall have them go ahead and pray so i'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact please don't be silent make declarations i will return with a testimony the lord is turning my sorrow to dancing my mourning uh, to joy in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is living my life that includes those who are falling online go ahead in the name of jesus christ father we thank you in the name of jesus i release faith over these requests representations of the pain the burdens the worries of your people let there be miracles in the name of jesus are you releasing your faith with me let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be miracles in the name of jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may god restore koinonia shout amen may god restore what happened to esther that lifted her may it happen to you ah someone who has faith to believe what happened to esther that took her from shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to ruth may it happen to you what happened to abraham that caused abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to lot on account of his connection with abraham may it happen to you anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried i cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse cancelled for you and your children cancelled for you and your parents cancelled anyone here trusting god for a job i bow my knees to the god of our father and i pray for you in the name of jesus by next miracle service return with your employment letter and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with god not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve god that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may god relocate you to another job
in the name of Jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you we are privileged stewards of that grace and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I place that anointing on your life believe it I place that anointing on your destiny strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my God by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car, if you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who can reward you for your gift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. The next request you will be writing will be for others, not for yourself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather, but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy. From today, may tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life. Too late for your business. Too late for your ministry. Too late for your family. In the name of Jesus, shout a sevenfold amen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testifying. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing everyone. You need Jesus. You need him now. 
you need him more than anything else in your life we shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to jesus when i began my teaching preaching about salvation and the gospel everything i said struck a chord in your spirit you are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life to jesus can i join them i'm not ashamed to declare that i need jesus for others you are saying i'm coming for the first time i'm at the back far back can i come you are welcome i'm outside can i come you are welcome i'm counting one to five for those who seriously need jesus not playing games with their christian experience that you are saying today if the trumpet should sound i want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory leave your seat and come god bless you i'm counting one to five young and old male or female there is always room at the cross come come very quickly two i count five and then i begin my prayer take your bags your bibles everything you came to church with please be on your way to the altar come three koinonia let's encourage them as they come four Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus. You're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens any of the overflows outside for those connecting online or any viewing center across the nations of the earth do well to just move to the front i'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to jesus else please pray this prayer with me thank you for all of you who are here place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender please say this as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word I have seen your power i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life forever from today i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backwards never amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you we honor you father for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives and based on the integrity and the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The grace to walk perpetually in victory, let it be released upon you. I commend you to the ministry of the word. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward from hence and never backwards in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap.